Hello everyone and welcome back to Vector 3D. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your streaming and recording setup to a multi-camera system like this without needing an expensive HDMI capture card. The core part of this multi-camera solution is the Tail Air by Obsbot, the sponsor of today's video whom I contacted to ask about their multi-camera products. They've kindly provided three cameras plus accessories for me to use. If you've watched any of my live streams recently, you'll know I've been looking to upgrade my setup. What I'm currently using is the Panasonic Lumix GH5 with a 13 to 25 mm lens, a Camlink 4K USB HDMI capture device, and I use OBS software for the capture and processing. While the setup is kind of fine, it has a few issues. I can't control the camera remotely, the zoom range is quite limited, one angle isn't really enough, and it's a bulky setup which gets in the way and I have to move it and unplug it to do other things. However, I came across a number of potential pitfalls. Adding another DSLR, like the one I already have, requires another HDMI input on the capture card for each additional camera. The problem with that is that the Camlink 4K only has one input and only allows one device per computer. The only high performance card I know of capable of three or more inputs is now end of life, so out of production and no longer available. Cheaper or unbranded options are probably available somewhere I can find on the internet if I dig deep enough, but I really want a reliable and stable solution for live streaming because as soon as it cuts out, you've ruined a whole live stream. So I've come across this online. It's the Taylor by OBS Bot, or is it Obsbot? I don't really know. Uh, I think it could be the solution to my problem. It can do 4K 30fps or 1080p 60, so 4K 30 should be fine for me. It can support the use of multiple cameras, which is what I need. It has NDI connectivity, so that should sort out all the kind of messy wires and this kind of stuff. And it's a pan tilt zoom camera with a remote control, so I can tilt it, rotate it, zoom on whatever from anywhere. You might be thinking, what the hell is NDI? Well, it's basically a way to send video, audio and other signals over the network. That means we can send a signal to the camera for controlling it with the pan, tilt and zoom, and the camera can send a signal back to the computer, which is the video and audio. So after contacting Obspot, they actually kindly sent me across three of these tail airs with the network adapters, NDI keys, and a remote control. In the box, which looks pretty good for travel as well, you get a USB-C cable, a USB splitter, USB adapter, and of course the tail air itself. Of course, alongside what they sent, we do also need to get a PoE switch and Ethernet cables. The PoE switch is what we use to inject the power over the Ethernet and basically allows us to power the cameras through the Ethernet cable. Finally, for mounting, I've created my own solution, which is 3D printed with the addition of some nuts and screws to hold everything together. If you don't run a full-time 3D printing channel though and have 3D printers all over the place, then standard camera mounting equipment also works since it uses the standard camera thread. Now for the setup. We'll start with the PoE switch, which just needs power and a network connection. Then for each of the tail air cameras, connect the network adapter to the camera, ethernet cable to the network adapter, and the other end of the ethernet cable to the PoE switch. You can then secure the cameras onto each of their mounts and hold the button on the back to turn them on. Make sure the lights on the PoE switch look like this for correct network and power delivery. For the software setup on the cameras, you can do this using your phone, but I'd recommend using the desktop app, which is called Obspot Center. So you can install the software, and then when it launches, the cameras connect automatically since they're all on the same network. You can rename the cameras and put them in an order or two if you want to. Uh, that just helps the software and the shortcut keys all work consistently. From the software, you can do lots of things like control, pan, zoom, effects, tracking, positional presets, focus exposure, like there's loads of stuff you can do. Uh, but for our setup, I'm just going to head over to the more tab and find the NDI section. Uh, from there, I can activate it with the license key and then enable the NDI mode for each of the cameras. Now for the other software installation on the computer. For step one, we need the NDI runtime. So I'm going to get that by installing NDI tools. Again, use the provided link. For step two, we need to enable NDI functionality with OBS, which is just a plugin. So again, you can download the latest release, 
from the link that I've provided, run the executable and follow the instructions. Then from the OBS software, you can now add each camera as an NDI source, just like you would with any other source. For live streaming, I add each source to its own scene, which I can then switch to easily at whenever time I want. One optional but useful accessory that you might also want to grab is the remote control. This can pair to up to three cameras simultaneously, and then you can just select which of the three you want to control. One final thing I did was design and print some privacy covers. These just clip over the camera lens and provide a physical block for the camera, you know, for privacy reasons. With that all done, this is what the final result looks like. I get easy access to three camera angles whenever I want. Each of them can be independently, easily adjusted, zoomed, tilted, pound, whatever. All the cameras are tucked away pretty tidily so they can stay installed permanently without getting in the way. I didn't need any expensive capture card installed in the computer. And with NDI, pretty much any stream can be sent anywhere on my network at any time. So I can just stream from a different computer running cameras in a different room without having to trail new cameras with any new capture cards or anything like that. Really, really simple, really effective. So you can be sure to tune into my live streams to see more of the setup in action and learn a little bit more about it. In the interest of full disclosure, as I mentioned, they did provide the cameras, network adapters, NDI keys, etc. But they've not paid me to make this video. They've not controlled anything that I had to say or anything like that. I do receive an affiliate commission if you make a purchase via the links below, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. There are links below to the stuff that I've used if you want to do this setup yourself. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.